I'm Keith Mosley. I'm Michael Travis. I'm Michael Kang from the String Cheese Incident. The power of the music community to be able to affect environmental change, I think first of all, I think there's a, hum a thing in human nature where we all want to actually feel like we're all part of the same thing and because we ultimately are, you know, one race on this planet. And um, beyond that, you know, I think there's a lot more that can be done. I think that uh, music fans identify passionately with their music and therefore uh, our fans feel like they are a family or a group, you know, whether we are talking about voter registration or environmental issues or political issues or whatever. The fan base tends to identify with the band and with each other in, like I said, kind of a passionate family sort of way. If you look at people like Bono or Jack Johnson, like they're doing whatever they can in their sphere to be able to affect change. And I just think that um, eventually, hopefully, as we all grow older, we're going to find that the networks of people that we have are going to be in the positions of power to be able to do things. And I think people should aspire to being in a position where they can affect as much change as possible. Music creates a sphere of elevation so that people start identifying with different parts of themselves, parts that maybe have uh, more compassion or more empathy. They just remi remind them of them themselves as vibrational beings as opposed to the day-to-day -day drudgery. The world is really different and it's changed in 20 years where there's a lot of things that are more acceptable. I just read something that says that solar energy, even without you know the government incentives in a few years, is actually going to be on parity with the grid and you know any of the grid tied stuff that's going to be happening with coal burning or fossil fuel use. So things are changing and you know the market might be slower than we might want it to be, but it's good to know that all the things that we're, we've been doing are, are coming into fruition and may not happen in the timeline that we would like it to, but I'm amazingly optimistic. Unfortunately, I think humans like to have tragedy to be able to galvanize around some stuff, and so I think I'm, we're gonna see some, some of that. That may be the tipping point that actually makes us wake up and realize that there's things that we can do to change the course of how this all goes. The way my environmental background merged with music was partly, I, I was working for the Forest Service a lot and um, did see a lot of practices out there that were really <laughs> peculiar and, and made me, you know, tuned in to some of the infrastructural stuff they were trying to pull. Like, they'd give us giant boxes of dynamite and then you climb 100 feet up in the tree, drill, drill a giant hole inside of the tree, you'd stuff dynamite in it and blow the top off the tree. You, what for, you might ask? Good question, Mark. <laughs> The what for is they thought that they, 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 they'd leave like five trees in a clear cut and for us to do this to, and they thought that the bit woodpeckers would move back to the clear cuts because we had quickly killed these trees and they rot really fast when the jagged tops are there. Uh, that program has since ended. The thing is that our, envi our love in the environment, our love of nature is definitely what brought us together because we wouldn't have all thought of, I think, moving to a little ski town out in the middle of the woods as a viable option without that history, so that definitely galvanized our thing. Most critical environmental issues to, that I feel are really important at this time are you know, fossil fuel dependence, 
energy independence and kind of the whole gamut of renewable energy, the things that we can do within our lifetime that are within our control to be able to you know, make some different and make some changes in, in how we behave. And, and those are the things that I feel like each one of us has the ability to affect in some degree. Probably the biggest environmental issue, like Michael said, is burning fossil fuels as our energy. It's like pooping in our diaper, but no one's going to clean it up. inspiration um, in the high country in the mountains here but actually I saw a National Geographic special on TV the other day about the redwoods and it really reminded me how powerful the redwoods are and how much I really enjoy walking among the big trees the redwoods is you know just incredibly inspiring and I love them these days I feel like um, the place where I find the most solace is probably Hawaii because <laughs> it's just something really special about um, the geography and the geology of it, the fact that you're on a piece of the newest part of the earth in a lot of ways and, and it's actively growing around you and then the feeling of the wind and the ocean and all the forces and everything out there just really kind of recharges my batteries like no other place. My and our relationship to Rock the Earth has been great and fruitful and they've shown that they're really in it for the right reasons and creating waves of change right where it's needed as opposed to just being a mouthpiece that says the thing but isn't doing the thing. So that's encouraging and exciting to be a part of. Well, we're really excited that Rock the Earth has been able to continue doing what it's been doing for the last 10 years and watching you guys do what you do is really inspiring just to know that you guys are out there really fighting the fight and we're glad to have been involved and we congratulate you guys in 10 years and hopefully many more years of success and we'll do what we can to help you out. <laughs> it, it just feels good to be able to support Rock the Earth and other groups that work for change both social and environmental Again, I think our part of it often is just building the community, bringing the people together, and then uh, exposing them maybe to some of these organizations and saying, hey, we support these organizations, maybe you can too. I, I feel proud that we offer an environment where we invite these groups and introduce people to these groups and, and therefore help them grow and help them on with their work. I'm Michael Kang from the String Cheese Incident, and the one thing that I would urge all you guys out there to do right now, get anybody that you know who owns a house or put a solar system on your roof. It is the best time to do it, and it's the That's quickest really way nice. for you to basically become part of the renewable energy revolution, which is happening right now. I'm Keith Mosley. I'm Michael Travis. I'm Michael Kang from the String Cheese Incident. Okay. We're here with Rock, Rock the Earth, Earth defending, defending the, the planet, planet one beat at a time. time. I'm Michael Kang. I'm Michael Travis. I'm Michael Mosley. No, that's not right. <laughs> Start again. Cut! <laughs> you do it the same I'm way. I'm Michael! I'm Michael Kang. I'm Keith Travis. Hey, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> I'm Michael Kang. I'm Michael Travis. <laughs> I'm sorry. You start. You start. I'm Michael Kang. I'm Michael Travis. I'm Keith Mosley. We're here with Rock the Earth. Defending the planet, one, one beat, beat at a time. time.